hi guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is shamian thank you for joining me on yet another youtube video if you're new please stick around press the subscribe button turn on your post notification bell and binge watch all of my so videos. today we're going to be talking about five things i want to do for myself and this is part of a series i've been having here on youtube where i ramble and ramble and ramble talking about multiple things that i like to talk about basically talking about myself my politics and other things and i hope you're enjoying the series so far <sighs> that's a mouthful <laughs> all right so the reason why i decided to make this list is because first of all having grown up in the kind of society that we have grown up in which is largely patriarchal in nature i realized that women don't tend to have things they do exclusively for themselves without feeling guilt or whilst considering that to be a priority in general we're taught to serve other people before we serve ourselves and in fact most of our education has to do with placing us in a service capacity so as a woman you're going to be a mom take care of children a helper and a a virtuous wife who takes care of her husband you're supposed to be seen to be assisting the community at funerals at family events and basically women's identity and their main um, purpose in life was servitude and as i went through my feminist um, journey the first thing i rejected was that position it didn't work for me i was not interested in laboring um, but i've decided to make this video just listing five things that are on my heart as of now that I think are really important I want and I want to take off and of course I'd love to look back at this video and see how I accomplish some of these things hopefully some of them will take me a lifetime to do some of them maybe not so long and the much more simple so here we go the first one is take myself out on an expensive lunch I just want to do it I don't have the funds to do that right now I need every single dollar and of course covid but this is something i really really want to do i think it's important to just be in the habit of taking yourself out on fun experiences where you're not subjected to other people's gaze and you can be comfortable and do things that make you happy food makes me happy so i definitely would want to do that okay the second item is to buy myself a tiny house or build a tiny house i don't know which of these two is going to happen but I really want to own my own house in my own capacity. And for me, the only option is to own my home in my own capacity since I have no plans um, and no expectation of getting married. It's not something I believe in and so I won't be participating in. And so unless my friends decide to pull money together and build something or buy something with me, it's not going to happen. I most definitely will own my own house in my own capacity. And regardless of whether or not I had interest in being married, I have always wanted to own my own home. And I want a tiny home because I just want something that feels like it contain me. It can only contain me in my own capacity as an individual and whose every component is made to suit and cater to me. The third one is the biggest one and that is to publish and write my own book. Um, I've started writing down some ideas. I have a few words out on um, my kind of book. I did not know I needed 50,000 words to have something sensible in print. So that was very off-putting for me. <laughs> but I'm very excited and it's something that I've always wanted to do. I always assumed I would probably do that in my 30s. I'm turning 23 in a few days or well, this month. I don't know when this video goes out. Um, so I'll be turning 22 this month and yeah i just want to put all my resources and my energy towards um fulfilling a goal of mine that i've always cared about i really really want to have this book out fourth one this has always been on my heart i even had a list of 30 countries that i wanted to visit by the age of 30 but that's just a large dream that i don't think is um within reach so what i want to do instead now which is more realistic is to book a solo staycation at a beautiful lodge or an airbnb just time to myself to cater to myself to reflect and i don't know write in my journal listen to music take photos just have an experience um by myself at a beautiful place and just have a good time the last one is to do something reckless maybe i'll jump out of a plane maybe i'll go bungee jumping i don't know 
maybe I'll, I'll go what's that wild water rafting I don't know <laughs> what that name of that thing is but I think it excites me and I want to do something that makes me feel like you know I could actually die <laughs> and yeah I think it's important to have those experiences so you live a much fuller life so yeah that's what I want to do and these are the five things that I would like to do for myself that's it you guys thank you so much for watching my very short video i hope you had a good time and that you enjoyed watching this video um if you haven't already press the subscribe button turn on your post notification bell and give this video a huge thumbs up bye